Mozzie Smith is an absolute tank. Like, do you see the thumbnail? Good people, it's your boy Mr. Room, Cowboys fan talk, right back like I never left. What's up with y'all, man? Happy Friday. It's the weekend. You know what I'm saying? I'm excited though. Like, I'm super excited because, look, listen, y'all know CFT. I'm Captain Stir the Kool Aid. I'm the Cowboys personal hype man, whatever you want to call me, Homer man, whatever. I know. I'll be seeing y'all in the comments. I see how y'all feel about me. And it's cool. I take it, like, taking it in stride. I don't take it personal because I love my team. You know what I'm saying? But I'm looking at the draft. I was looking at the picks. And one of the things that's been coming to my mind lately is who's going to have the most impact immediately. The Cowboys have such a great roster that it's hard to break through as a rookie and show true impact, especially in places that you might not think, ah, what is that going to do? You know? And you look at Tyler Smith last year. That was a place of need. You know? But it ended up working out even better because he helped us out when we lost our left tackle. Like, Tyler Smith's draft pick paid dividends. Deron Bland played pit, um, paid dividends. When LVE went down, Damone Clark paid dividends. Like, those rookies really stepped in. Look, Jake Ferguson, Peyton Hendershot. These were all rookies last year. Y'all do realize, right? You know what I'm saying? Sam Williams, Slam Williams. Like, literal rookies from last year that came in and had great impact. And we're going to get to Jalen Tobert. We're going to talk about him soon. I got a video coming on Tobert. But Mozzie Smith. Because I'm, I'm looking at the draft picks. Y'all know. Y'all, if you don't know the draft picks by now or who you think going to have impact, I can't help you. There's too much great Cowboys content creators out here giving you information. I can't help you. But listen, Mozzie Smith. Picture came out, and they say a picture is worth a thousand words. Picture. And literally, this man looks like a tank. Like paws, like a unit, like a rock, like a... Like an immovable object. And I'm not just saying because of his weight. Mozzie Smith's a D tackle. Um, he tested so well. Y'all should be aware of this already. Um, like, like, as like a freak, like an athletic freak, like moving 800 pounds, like strength like Larry Allen. That's what I've heard. And I know that sounds blasphemous, but seriously. But when I saw this picture, and I know y'all saw the thumbnail, his forearm looked like a thigh. This part. Just this part, not the arm, not the shoulder, the try, or, uh, um, all of it, none of that. Just this, look like someone's thigh. Listen, I love Neville Gallimore. Appreciate what he's tried to do for us. Also, Diggy Zua, he he built crazy, but he's a different. He's more of a slender type D tackle. Jonathan Hankins, humongous trash can full of dirt, veteran. Knows how to play the run. Incredible. I appreciate him. We have not seen anything like Mozzie Smith in a Cowboys uniform, maybe ever. I'm not saying that he's immediately the best D tackle we've ever had. That might be craziness. I'm saying I've never physically seen a specimen like him wear a Cowboys uniform. And y'all can tell me if I'm wrong. Please let me know. Now, maybe it's somebody I just missed. But D-tackle-wise, I know Russell Maryland was a beast. He didn't look like that. He did not look like that. I can't remember, and maybe I'm remiss. Please tell me when we had a D-tackle look like that. The man is focused. Like, when you heard him come in, when he brought his mom through the star, and he was talking about, you know, just basically how she raised him to be the man he is. How he's locked in and focused. And you start hearing things like, you know, Mozzie Smith played like 80, 90% of the, the snaps. He ain't come off the field. He ain't rotate. He just did his job every week, all game, 50, 60 snaps, two gapping, not rushing the passer, not complaining about it, helping Aiden Hutchinson, David Mjabu, and other pass rushers get to the money. But being the foundation of the defense, Taking pride in stopping the run. And then when I see that image, just that, and it, look, there's no pads on this man yet. 
He built like he got shoulder pads on. Nah. Mozzie Smith is going to be scary good. And I don't care. I've, I've heard. The, I'm here to say it. Mozzie Smith's going to have a better career than Carter. I know. Now, Carter might be a pass rush demon, and I'll have to eat my words. And if I have to, y'all come let me know, because I know y'all will. Hey, Rome, remember when you said this about Mozzie Smith and Carter? I'll let y'all know then. I feel like Mozzie Smith is going to end up being a top five D tackle within the next two to three years. Am I saying that immediately? No. But y'all see, like, with Dexter Lawrence, Quentin Williams, Jeffrey Simmons. You see how they look different? Like, Jeffrey Simmons is built like an absolute freak. When you see him, you're like, yeah, no, that makes sense. Like, when you see Jeffrey Simmons, you're like, no, nah, that makes sense. You see Quentin Williams, he a big man should not be able to move like that. Dexter Lawrence, similar. Maybe the third out of the three. You know, Aaron Donald's a different type of D tackle. Put him to the side. Freaking nature, Hall of Famer, one of the best ever. Salute to him. But Cowboys, let's go back to the Cowboys. Every time a D tackle would kind of be on the market, they don't even got to be one of the best ones. We like, yo, man, come come to Dallas. Trade for him. Do this, that. And we just never, never put effort, time, resources into that position. And now, now we got one. I can see off that picture. You're not, you talking about peak. Prime shape. None of those D tackles that I mentioned, like like the Jalen Carters and stuff like that, they rotated. They didn't play all those snaps. They were pass rushers. They didn't play play the run. He don't play the run well. You call me a hater. He got a little mentally mixed up and he came. He couldn't even finish his workouts at the combine. Y'all showing my D tackle. He looking like he just like it like. Listen, I saw the picture. I said, yo, he's going to hurt someone. Like, seriously. And take pride in it. Like, when you heard him talking, he's like, yo, man, I'm easy. He's easy. Take pride in stopping the run. He takes pride in being the, the person that free, frees up everything. And the thing that makes me so excited is because you saw the excitement of Micah Parsons. Micah, no. Micah said, yo, yes. Dan knew. Dan knew. He he. Dan wouldn't let me down. You heard him talking, and it's just because Mike is like, yo, man, I haven't had someone that can stifle that middle. I've had quarterbacks step out of my wrath for the last two years, and I'm tired of it. I do my job. I beat my man. But unlike um, other teams where their D tackles hold serve, and the quarterback ain't got nowhere to go, so he go right to left, run right into a pass rusher's arm, our pass rushers will win. D. Law, Michael Parsons, Armstrong, Fowler, all of our edges be winning, Sam Williams. And then, unfortunately, you got Neville Gallimore in the middle getting thrown to the side like a child. It's unfortunate. You know what I'm saying? You got Oso Digizua, who's a pass rusher by trade, but you need one clogger in the middle. Mozzie Smith looks like he's going to be able to grab somebody. Listen, Mozzie Smith coming off the – who going to stop him? Who? Who going to stop him? Give me the offensive lineman. Go ahead and lie to yourself. Am I saying he's going to be stronger than anyone ever? No, I just look the way he's built, this lower center of gravity. He's not super tall. And so that's Jordan Davis's problem. He like 6'7". If he don't get low enough, you get up under them pads, you're moving him out the way. Mighty Smith is built compact, short to the ground, rock solid. I cannot wait. And I just wanted to just, I had to get this out. I, I'm looking at this picture over and over again like, I want to find some video because that joint just look, that forearm flex look like that ain't normal. That is not normal. I cannot wait, man. But y'all just let me know how y'all feel in the comments. Let me know how that image, a still image, made you feel. Pause. Because it just looks crazy like that. It, tell me if in the comments if you've seen a D tackle like that wear the Dallas Cowboys star in the last 20 years. I'll show respect to Russell Merrill. 20, 25 years from the last time we had a D-tackle look look like Mozzie Smith. Not, we ain't even played yet. We ain't talking about combine numbers. Go look at his RAS score again. Go look at what we dealing with. And then take a deep breath and be like, we got one. It's your boy, Mr. Rome, man. Our defense about to look different in a good way.